Hello and welcome to STEM with Mr N, where every week I perform different demonstrations and explain the science behind what we're seeing. This week I'm going to take a look at static electricity. Let's check it out. Most of you will have experienced static electricity at some point in your life, whether that's touching a metal door handle or shaking somebody's hand and getting a shock, or whether it's watching a lightning storm. All of this is static electricity. But what causes static electricity? Well, everything in the world is made up of atoms, and atoms are made up of electrons, which have a negative electrical charge, and protons, which have a positive electrical charge, and neutrons, which have no electrical charge. Normally, objects are in balance, meaning they don't have a negative charge or a positive charge because the electrons and protons balance each other out. However, when an object ends up with a negative electrical charge, it then causes static electricity to stay contained within that object until it touches something else to transfer the electrons into. It's called static electricity because while the electrons have built up in an object, that electricity isn't moving anywhere until it touches another object and transfers its electrons across to that object. We are going to do a few different experiments today which involve using static electricity. For the experiments I'm doing this week, I'm going to be building up static electricity into a balloon. And some of you may even have experienced static electricity this way. When a balloon ends up with a negative electrical charge around it and you hold it up to your hair, your hair sticks out and is attracted towards the balloon. Unfortunately, I'm not in a position where I can demonstrate that to you, so you just need to try that one at home. To build up static electricity in a balloon, you can rub it on your hair or you can rub it on some wool. I'm going to use my jumper and as I am rubbing the balloon on my jumper, What's happening is the balloon is taking electrons from my jumper and building up a negative electrical charge around the balloon. The first experiment I'm going to do involves using some table salt and we're going to show how the positive charge within table salt gets attracted to the negative charge of the balloon. So first I'm going to rub the balloon on my jumper to charge it up and then I'm going to pass the balloon over the top of the salt and let's watch what happens. And you'll notice the salt has got attracted to the balloon and stuck to the bottom of it. This is because the balloon had that negative electrical charge and it is attracting the positive electrical charges within the salt, pulling the salt up onto the balloon. The next demonstration is also going to involve picking up objects off a table using the static electricity built up in the balloon. This time I'm using small bits of tin foil. So I'm going to charge up my balloon and try and pick the tin foil up off the table. So you see I've managed to pick up a few bits of tin foil using my balloon, although I didn't have quite enough static electricity to get all of the bits of tin foil. That's something that you could test at home. How many bits of tin foil can you pick up with the static electricity in a balloon? And does it make a difference how long you rub the balloon for to charge it up? The next demonstration I've had to film separately because I didn't have an empty aluminium can with me. You'll notice that I have the aluminium drinks can lying down on the table. I'm going to put some static charge into my balloon by rubbing it against my jumper and watch what happens to the can when I hold the balloon next to it. So what's been happening in all of these demonstrations is that the negative charge of the balloon is attracting the positive charges within the salt, the tinfoil and the drinks can. 
That's why the salt and the tin foil get pulled up against the balloon and the drinks can rolls towards it because it's a bit too heavy to get pulled up towards the balloon. I'm going to do one more demonstration to show something that static electricity can affect the movement of. So here I have a tub with water in it, I've got a cup with a hole in the bottom, I'm going to charge up my balloon and we're going to see what effect the static charge in a balloon has on water as it's running through the hole in the cup. So you'll have noticed there that the stream of water was attracted towards the balloon. This is because water is also made up of positive and negative charges. And the positive charges inside the water were being attracted towards the extra negative charges on the balloon. So there, you can actually use static electricity to bend water. Well, that's all for this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, I would like to take this opportunity to answer any science questions you have about any science topics at all. So feel free to email me at stemwithmrn at outlook.com and I'll get back to you with answers to your questions. You can subscribe to the channel by pushing the button here and I've put links here to the other STEM demonstrations that I've done so far. This has been STEM with Mr N, exploring static electricity.